Thank you to all of the veterans who have served. Now let's check in with Cassandra Gutierrez, who has a full look at our North State weather. Hi, Cassandra. Good evening, Shade. We're looking at hazy conditions still for most of the Nord State. Reading, you're looking at sensitive to unhealthy air quality, especially for the sensitive groups here. Of course, Trinity County looking at very unhealthy parts of Lass and Plumas County. Chester looking at unhealthy air quality. Even parts of our inland region here along those hilly terrains regions. Surface smoke forecasts. We do see some hazy conditions as we head into our night hours, but we are clearing up for most of our valley region, even to the south of where the Dixie fire is burning. She Go should see a break from all the hazy condition overnight, but potential for smoke and haze in the air definitely returning as we head into our Monday and into our Tuesday as well. Taking a look at our winds and what those winds are going to do. They're coming from the south right now, pushing towards the north, and that's going to be the trend as we head into our overnight and evening hours. We do see the winds start coming from the east, pushing towards the west as we head into those morning hours on Monday, going at about two to five miles per hour for most of the north state. We do see a pickup and winds and a change in direction closer to Susanville around Monday morning around 11 a.m. here pushing from the south towards the north there and then picking up those winds in Red Bluff Corning as we head into Monday afternoon and in Alturas as well looking at winds over 10 miles per hour and 15 mile per hour winds could be seen Tuesday morning and picking up once again into those evening hours of Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon calming down overnight though above normal temperatures is what we're looking at for the Nord State most of our neighboring states as well. Most of the state of California looking at above normal temperatures. That's paired with below normal rainfall for our Pacific Northwest region. Equal chance of precipitation for our state and our southern neighboring states. Low pressure is coming in and out of our region just in time for the work week. Is high pressure coming in from the Pacific. Should be keeping us dry as we head into our next week and a half here. Looking at our skies mostly clear with the exception of some hazy conditions. Marine layer building up along the coast. Do expect some morning fog conditions as we head into our Monday morning and into our Wednesday as well. Maybe some partial cloudy conditions along the coastal range for the better half of our morning hours clearing throughout the day. 90 degrees is what we're expecting tomorrow for a high in Redding, 87 for a high in Chico. But good news, we catch a break from all the heat into our overnight hours. We're dropping down into the lower 60s. Very excited for those 60s being back in those nightly forecast 40s for Bernie, Alturas, Hay Fork and 50s for Weaverville. Lower 50s for a high tonight night in Mount Shasta. Our temperatures tomorrow should be mostly in the lower 80s for Mount Shasta, Trinity Center, Weaverville, upper 80s for Lewiston, 89 degrees for a high in Hayfork tomorrow. Your winds should be northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures in Bernie, 83 degrees, 83 degrees in Alturas as well, 79 degrees for a high tomorrow in Chester and 80 degrees in Shingletown and Fall River Mills. But our temperatures here just 10 degrees warmer than what we're seeing out in the foothills. Reading should be at about 90 degrees upper 80s for Lakehead, Cottonwood and Red Bluff. Palo Cedro also should be at about 90 degrees tomorrow. Upper 80s for Corning, Chico also peaking at about 87 degrees. Paradise temperatures will be in the lower 80s. Our next seven days for Redding do expect some partially hazy conditions into our work week. Upper 80s for Tuesday, then dropping, picking back up into the 90s as we head into the remainder of our work week. Triple digits are back in the forecast for Redding, but for Chico, we're mostly in the upper 90s to wrap up this upcoming work week.